and uh, whenever we try to uh, you know insert the numbers apart from what we set it for for example i'm just selecting completely here data validations and whole number for example 4 to uh, 7 okay and 4 5 6 7 8 it's not allowing I just want to customize this message. Actually, this is a style or type of alert. This is top one. So there are different type of style or alert. How can we uh, change it? For example, if you are giving some task to your colleague, he might be knowing very basic of Excel. So he, you just giving some tasks like data entry task to him. So you know that uh, this area should allow only four to six. But if you're trying to type anything, he should be able to understand very in simple English or in your language, whatever it is. So we can set up such a way by using data validations. For example, I'm going, just going data validations. As soon as you set up this, your criteria, go directly error alert. I'll show you what is input message, error alert. Here you can see list of style, right? So just drop down. By default, very first one will show stop. So let's see one by one. First one, let's stop. Title we can give. Please stop. And here you can see small message. Hello. Only numbers uh, between four to seven, whatever it is. Okay. And okay. It. Now, if I try to insert love and should show the same message what I customized, please stop. Allow only numbers. This case, if I type re and re, it's get editing mode. Okay, make it three. No, re and re, make it five. Yes, it's allowing. And 15, it's not allowing. Either you can cancel or re and re or help. Help in the sense directly connected with Microsoft help box. I mean, community box. I don't want to make it stop style. I just want to make it warning style. Take it that case. I'm just selecting this data validation drop down warning. Okay, here you can see as soon as I click on this warning message icon has been changed. Okay, now see the difference between stop and warning. If I try to insert 10 should show please stop allow only between four to seven. If you want to continue, yes, it's continue. This is this. This doesn't stopping us actually uh, for rendering this data but just giving the warning if i press yes it's accepted by giving warning message again if i 15 continue or not if i know it will go to editing mode just like how it showed the stop alert message right and it cancel and help the similar things only if i select again the very last style drop down information for your information fyi right information so i'm just in clicking okay here I'm trying to put uh, 60 and rate allow only numbers. This is just a stop. I mean, uh, uh, for for the information information message. If I click OK, this is accepting it. It doesn't stop it. If we put the stop message, if you put the stop style, it will stop. Either if it's put warning or info, so it doesn't make stop. Just giving that alert. That's it. You can just try to put first restriction the criteria here. After that, you trying to set up your own message by giving title and error message field and by by selecting respective style. Can you just try from here and please? Sometime uh, you don't want to set up this style of alert. Just want to show some pop up message whenever he select respective cell. How can we do that? That's called input message. For example, I'm just selecting this and deleting data validation settings, uh, world number. I'm putting like 5 to 10 and OK it right here. You can see next to that input message instead of error alert. I'm just copy input message show input message when cell is selected, right? Just click on it. I'll, do, I'll tell you the difference actually and title FYI for information. Allow only 5 to 10. 8. See if I select this. No, I'm going to enter it here. So whenever you trying to uh, enter a particular value or content within cell, that cell itself will be restricted. Message will show. See here. But in case if you want to disable it, 
so you can use this untick it and OK it. It, it will not show. For time being, you can disable it or enable it, especially if you are putting lots of input message and all. You don't want to delete it. You just want to make it disable it. Just untick it. Okay, and OK it. That's it. Thank you.